Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So this one is a very random mashup of things. It might not make too much sense, but it's a weekly vlog nonetheless and I hope you guys enjoy it. Apfelkuchen! Ooh, it's warm. Made with homegrown apples. No, the initial taste is nice. I like the texture. That's what I mean, but it's not supposed to be like, but it's more like a pudding. Mm. What do you mean pudding? Dessert is pudding. Well, not cake. You know, cake that is drier. This is more wet, isn't it? This because is more. It's yeah, it's nice, Mum. Do you want me to give it a rating? Mm. Mm. Hey, Alexa. Mm. Here she got one. Oh, no. I think it's a, an 8.8 .8 for me. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, 8.8 .8 out of 10. Hey, Alexa, stop. We are in the mood for organization. So I'm gonna organize this drawer because I just have way too much stuff in here and I've been meaning to do it for a long time. So today is the day. It's kind of in sections. Um, you wouldn't really believe that, but the back section is for like first aid stuff. So I have deep heat. This is aloe vera gel and stuff. I have my tanning stuff, which I haven't done in a while. I should really like fake tan. This is like tanning water. Um, at the front, this is my hair removal, not hair removal, sorry, hair lightening cream, hair stuff, as in like actual hair stuff to wash my hair. This is shaving cream. And then this down here is like all skin stuff. I didn't realize I had so much skin stuff and I literally do nothing to my skin. Update on the hair lightening cream. I actually think it's really good, but I use it on my snail trail in case you missed that video. It lasts like about maybe two weeks and then I do it again. Sunday I went into London to spend the morning and early afternoon with a friend. It was literally a social media detox day. I didn't really go on my phone too much and we went to Holland Park and the Kyoto Gardens which are in Holland Park. Honestly they are so stunning. I went back afterwards to show you guys because when I was with Izzy I didn't film anything and I felt bad because I didn't get it for the vlog. I didn't film much on Monday or Tuesday, but I need your thoughts on this. So I love sharing my workouts with you guys and I did share my first ever real-time workout on Instagram, but let me know if you'd like them on YouTube instead or as well, because I already post the short form workouts on Instagram as reels. So this is what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing my boots that I wear inside all the time. These leggings, this cropped yellow jumper, and then my hair is down, obviously. And then I've just got these gold bee earrings in and this gold necklace to match. On Wednesday, I filmed for my That Girl video, which is already on my channel. And I also filmed a video all about what happens to your body when you run a marathon that will be live on Bye Holly G very soon. Hey guys, happy Friday. It is currently 11.30 on the dot. Look at that, 11.30 in the morning. And yeah, I'm heading into London today. I'm sorry this video has been a random mashup. My hair is, um, Getting quite frizzy. As you guys may have seen in my hair transformation video, I washed my hair and went through the whole curly girl method last Saturday. So it's just coming up to a week. And I'm gonna go through that process again tomorrow and like reset my hair officially. You can still see like the curls, but I think today I'm gonna just like put in a loose low bun or just like a low ponytail like that. So I can always take it down. And yeah, to make this video even more of a random mashup of things. This was also quite a spontaneous decision. I made this decision, not yesterday, the day before. I am going to get a laser consultation today in London. That's basically why I'm going into London. So yeah, I'm getting a free laser hair removal consultation, not like laser eye surgery, laser hair removal. It has been such a last minute decision, as I said, and I thought I may as well, because I have always thought about laser hair removal and i have always said to myself that i'd like to get it but i've always just been so scared and this morning i've literally just been thinking about whether or not i should cancel the appointment because i'm actually really scared but we're gonna just go and do it yolo it's a total yolo moment okay so yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along it is at 3 p.m it is at this clinic in london called the pulse light clinic this is not sponsored at all laser hair removal if you didn't know what it is 
I feel like this would be a really cool video for biology, but essentially it uses a laser, so a light beam, to heat up the hair follicle and basically damage the hair follicle to stop growth. It is not permanent, I know that, but it can significantly reduce hair growth and it really just varies. Like some people can see amazing results, other people won't achieve the same. So yeah, I'm not banking on anything. I'm just gonna see if it works for me. I am quite an ideal candidate we could say because laser hair removal works really well for people with fair skin and dark hair, which is me to the T. This is an Invisibubble. I never normally use these things, but we're gonna try and use it today because I don't think they're as damaging to your hair in comparison to like a normal bubble. Does anyone else, by the way, call it a bubble or a hairband? I've always called it a bubble. I just got changed now. I've just done like my morning workout, as it were, and yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and have my breakfast. I have three Invisi bubbles in different colors. I didn't realize. A clear one, black and brown. I'll use the brown one, I think. But yeah, so that is on the agenda. Ow, ow, that's not gentle in my hair. Right, Invisi bubbles feel slightly strange. As I said, I don't normally use them, but. That feels semi-secure, not too tight, but tight enough to not want to move anywhere. Basically, the thing I'm most scared about today, I am not even joking, you guys. I was almost in tears whilst talking to Emily about it the other day because I am genuinely so nervous. Not about the laser. The scary thing, I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just so worried about it. Like, you know, they have to look at your hair to see which laser will work best and whether it's actually going to work for you it works for most people i think but they just like do tests and stuff because i think it can cause like some irritation in some people but anyway i um yeah, i'm just so worried about like showing people those parts of my body that's why i'm most worried about <sighs> i'm not crying i'm not gonna cry but like i'm just i just feel like i'm gonna humiliate myself and i know they do it all the time, they see it all the time, but it doesn't help me, I don't care. And I know I'm 23, and I know I'm technically an adult, but I think this is still a valid fear. I know I'm not the only one who feels this way, okay? Enough said, we're just gonna go and see how it is today. I'll tell you all about my experience. I'll try and maybe film some of the patch testing, obviously, where appropriate. Hey, man! You wanna come with me? You don't need any hair removal, you cute little fluff ball. I think I'll put on this scarf. I'm basically going to Oxford Street and then I'm walking to Tottenham Court Road, which is where the Pulse Light Clinic is. It is a very reputable clinic in London. The like staff are qualified, they're well trained, which is what you're ideally looking for if you want to go and get something like this done. I also want to stress that laser hair removal doesn't cause cancer it doesn't use like ionizing radiation and whilst there can be some side effects as i said they're only temporary when i do my jacket up like this the scarf looks so strange i can't do that i'm just wearing like leggings and um some trainers and this jacket very nondescript it's a beautiful day but it is freezing i'm wearing my taller leggings which are quite thick but my butt cheeks it's just so cold at my legs, but if we walk, we should generate a bit of heat. It's really sunny though. It's a nice day. Hi, little kitty. Oh, whoa. What do you want? This cat was just like staring at something in the bush. I have to say hi and bye. Have a good day. So I do complain about the weather, as you guys know, especially when it gets colder. But something that went through my mind today when I was just snuggled in my scarf was that, you know, there's something that's actually quite nice about cold weather and I don't know if that's relatable or not, but I thought I'd put it out there. Fine. Anything? No. I love it. Do you ever feel it? But it's fine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
I have just come out of the clinic. I have my patch tests and I'm starting in two weeks time. They're really busy so I couldn't start next week. I look so sexy with those yellow goggles on that you have to wear because if the laser hits your eye you can apparently go blind. Other than that you felt it a tiny bit. It feels like a prick but I'm used to stuff like that because I epilate. But yeah I will give you more details when I'm back at home but I just thought I'd tell you that. The person I had was so nice and she was like do you have any questions and I didn't have many. I was just like I'm just gonna feel so humiliated and embarrassed <laughs> but she was really nice and it was all good. I'm on Oxford Street obviously. I'm on a side road but I want to go into a shoe shop the shoe shop you know to try out some converse because i'm looking to buy some on depop um but i just want to like check sizes and stuff so i may as well do that while i'm here and the christmas lights are out already these are the christmas lights you know halloween is done so christmas lights are obviously up now if you hear banging noises it is because it is the 5th of November, so bonfire night and there are fireworks going off. But we're going to basically talk about laser and my experience with laser hair removal today. Obviously, I just had like patch tests done. It wasn't like full on laser. But yeah, let's talk about my experience and what happened today because I have officially booked myself in. Well, I haven't booked all of my sessions. I've booked my first one in about two weeks time. But I have officially invested in laser hair removal, okay? We've done it and yeah, I also should have maybe prefaced this by saying that you do not have to remove your body hair. Body hair is natural, it is normal and it is your body so it is your choice as to whether you remove it or not. Personally, I just like to remove it but I am not saying you have to too, you know. I remove body hair at the moment through epilating and I shave as well and I also lighten my snail trail. It's so strange at the start of this video I was organizing my drawer and talking to you guys about hair lightening cream but after laser you know I hopefully won't have to use it anymore. It's just strange how we've like taken a full 180 in this video because as I said it was also a very spontaneous decision to go and get this consultation and to book myself in. Yes it is expensive as an upfront cost but in the long run and if it reduces hair growth quite significantly then it can be pretty cost effective because you know you don't have to shave you don't have to invest in razor heads i use a metal razor anyway but i just have to buy the heads you don't have to pay for waxing if you do that or hair lightening stuff so we're just gonna see as i said i'm investing in myself because i want this done for myself okay for nobody else but myself if you do have any questions about laser then feel free to leave them down below but i will document my laser hair removal journey for you guys i'll give you updates you have sessions every six to eight weeks and i have eight sessions in total just diving into a bit more detail laser is a form of photo epilation so that means hair removal using light laser is actually an acronym it stands for light amplified light amplification stimulated by the emission of radiation I think that's what it is. Light amplification by stimulation emission of radiation. I'm gonna double check. And you have this kind of like laser medium that is excited by an energy source and then the excess energy stored in that laser medium is emitted in the form of a laser. And then that laser is targeted at the hair and when it hits the melanin, which is the pigment in your hair, which makes your hair coloured, that is transmitted to heat energy it's then transferred to the hairs in your hair follicle and those hairs are killed and that will stop growth of the hair but we can never say that laser hair removal is permanent because you know changes in your body like hormonal changes and stuff can influence hair growth and you know hairs can start growing again ultimately so even though they say you can achieve like 80% reductions in hair growth, it's not always guaranteed. And the reason why you have to have multiple sessions, like I'm having eight sessions in total, is because you have to stimulate or target the hair with the laser beam when it's in the growing phase, which is called the anagen phase. The last thing I'll say about laser is that before you go, you have to shave the areas that are going to be lasered. And I've never shaved my legs before. It's not a big deal at all, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, shaving my legs. I've always epilated them and I'm actually not doing my full legs. I was thinking about getting my full legs lasered, but that's the point in having a consultation. Like they assess 
the hairs in different regions of your body and they see if it's gonna be suitable for laser and they adjust like the parameters like how intense the beam is and stuff like this basically the I don't know what to call her. I'm gonna say the laser lady. <laughs> she was so nice, but the laser lady, right? She said that my hair on the top of my legs is too fair. It's like fluffy. It sounds cute. It's not cute, but it's fluffy. And if anything, it might grow back thicker and coarser, which is obviously something I don't want. So I'm only getting my legs from my knee down. So half leg, basically. Another thing I just wanted to tell you this evening is that i am so close to finishing this book i have a tiny bit left which i'm gonna read this evening just before i go to bed and then i'm gonna be so sad because this book has been so good when a good is book what what just came out of my mouth when a book is good i am so excited to go to bed and you know i've gone from someone who really didn't like this book or i said i couldn't read it to me now saying that I love this book. Genuinely, it's so good. So I have fully changed my opinion on The Book Thief. Love it. I can fully relate to all of you guys now who said it was an amazing book. But yeah, tomorrow is a big day. Well, not really a big day. So I have four hours of tutoring and hopefully I'm gonna try and go through my curly girl method in the morning before I start tutoring at like 10.15 might not be possible and it will depend on whether i actually decide to get out of bed or not but yeah that is my day tomorrow hair and uh, tutoring now let me just confirm i did not wake up as early as i wanted to on saturday i decided to lie in it was a great lie in and so i didn't wash my hair first thing but i did actually have six hours not four hours of tutoring on this day milka was there for a lot of it she was you know keeping me company she was very bored at points we could say but yeah i had my six hours of tutoring and i was also trying to do some proofreading alongside that so it was a day spent at my desk pretty much I actually didn't think I was going to get to doing all this today. Um, I've had such an intense day. I've just finished proofreading. We're going to take out the hair because this is my favorite bit. Deplopping is like the best, okay? Right. <gasps> yes! I put in the leave-in conditioner today, so we might see a bit less frizz. I left it to dry the center part in again, which I said I wasn't going to do, but... Well, this is me. It's 21.41. It's almost 10 p.m. I need to wait for it to fully dry before I scrunch up. Crunch. <sighs> oh, I started way too late, but as I said, things changed quite last minute today. This is my hair. The day after I've been through my curly girl method, as I said yesterday, I put in the leave-in conditioner. So I feel like this might help, actually. And yeah, I've slept on it as well, but... I am very happy with the results. That's my second round of going through the whole process. As is a new tradition for my weekly vlogs, I'm gonna answer two random questions that you guys leave on my videos. So the first one, which is very recent, it says, I'm 19 and I've always wanted to do ballet ever since I was little. Do you think it's too late for me to learn? 100% it's not too late for you to learn. Like it's never too late for you to try something new. If you want to try it, just go for it. Please just try it because I have loved ballet from such a young age. It is amazing as an art form. Find some adult ballet classes. I don't know where you are in the world, but there are lots in like London you can try if you are in the UK. But there are probably loads all over the place. You just have to do a bit of looking. And yeah, ballet is beautiful. Very, very hard. It's so difficult and intense. But the way in which you train your body is it's just really cool and i'm sure you will love it if you try it so that goes to anyone out there thinking of trying dance ballet in particular or anything new you know and you're afraid that you're too old you're never too old to try something new okay that's what we should all remember and take from this video and the second question somebody said well emma said is there a link to the original curly girl method so this came from my hair video i don't know if there's like an official website with the curly girl method i've looked on like various web pages 
But if anyone has an official link or knows if there is like an official page or something as it were, then feel free to share that. I just followed a method on one website and then I had to look on others to find like products that were Caligal approved and then check they were vegan and cruelty free and stuff. So it does take a bit of research. If there was one place it would be useful, but I'm not too sure. Obviously this is so new for me anyway. I will obviously keep you updated and show you how this hair evolves. You know, I am gonna end this video here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Comment down below if you have any questions or anything you want to say down below, feel free to share it. And yeah, if you're new and you want to stick around, you can subscribe, hit the bell. And yeah, as always, I will speak to you very soon in another video. Bye.